Hello everyone, we're here at the Damocles station, and we are going to do a quick tutorial here on how to make this docking ring that you see here. Uh, mostly focused just on the central structure, the round portion here. So without uh, any delay, let's go to the vehicle assembly building. Okay, so here we are in the vehicle assembly building. Now what we're going to want to start with is one of these FLT 200 fuel tanks. Uh, let's go ahead and put that right there. And we want to increase our symmetry to six times. And I'm using Dead Beef's editor tools. And the reason I'm using that is because it's got a bunch of nice features like vertical snap, uh, which puts these nice and centered right there. Um, and let's go ahead and alt-click that to copy it and then get one of these FLT 200s again Blum. and put one of these radial attachment points now we want it to be almost 90 degrees to this beam uh, but we want it one closer so then what we're going to want to use is another structural fuselage put that there we might as well just alt click and copy that too. put that right there for now uh, actually no let's bring it in put that right there um, then we're gonna go ahead and put this is the next one we need a cubic octagonal strut put that right there hit sh hold shift and then press E three times to put that right there and grab another one of these actually I'm just gonna alt click again copy that and sometimes you can just put this here and it'll work like earlier today I, I was doing a, a test run before recording uh, so we're gonna have to hit alt 12 just to bring that up again and bring that in there now that that's done we'll go ahead and close it and we got ourselves a nice little ring here and you can dress this up with a number of different uh, ways but one thing I like to do first is come in nice and close here grab the strut connector put one of them here and one of them over here and then there we go now they're actually structurally connected instead of just kinda hanging out there um, usually I like to put these a little closer still like kinda more like way way down in here except I might wanna turn off nah there we go and there we go ha so that's that uh, as far as uh, you know this design's kind of nice because if you want to put a one meter docking clamp you can or if you want to what I did is I put two meter uh, top and bottom and that became the uh, center of my station as it were um, but let's go take a look at the complete station that way you can, or not the complete station, derp, 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 loading. All right, so here we've got our docking ring complete. Um, you can see it's got a total of 30 docking ports on it. It's got six of the large ones going around in a circle. And basically, I just put another strut section, one of the, the one meter to two meter connections, and a uh, docking port on there. Um, then I've got uh, 12 of the full size, or sorry, the uh, one meter ones here, um, and then 12 of the smaller ones as well, top and bottom. Um, I got this uh, little space tug here that's uh, kind of responsible for getting it to orbit. Um, this part jettisons away and it's got a little probe there so I can just delete it at my leisure. And uh, same thing up here, we've got uh, this guy here, it's basically so I can have RCS forward of and backwards of the center of mass to keep everything nice and balanced when I'm docking. Uh, makes a huge difference actually, and then when I do dock, I basically disconnect both this from the station and this from the upper portion here. Um, and I just go switch to this one and end its flight, and then use our nice little tug here to kind of push the two halves together you know since everything was lined up and ready to go at that point um, but I guess I could show that process in another video if you guys want um, I don't know if you guys like this uh, you know maybe uh, I don't know give me a like or something uh, leave a comment I don't know how this works uh, this is my first video but uh, you know uh, if you guys like it I'll keep making them as it you know 
as it goes or whatever. But uh, yeah, 